The future of text will lean increasingly towards the automated production of textual outputs that are attuned to the specified or determined needs of users. We will see the deployment of ever more powerful and refined language models, going far beyond the carefully curated triumphs of GPT-3 to generate text that is optimised not only for responding meaningfully and sustainably to a whole range of potential user-driven cues, but is shaped also on the basis of their algorithmic identity. In other words, that matrix of known weighted interests that are integral to the proposition of targeted online advertising, and so will be used subsequently to optimise every aspect of generated digital content in order to help contextualise and prime the user towards any embedded commercial material. Conventional websites will be the first to deploy this technology at very large scales but online bots will also collate and synthesise materials for individual users on topics that they either specify or that are determined algorithmically, and so become the predominant feature on a user's social media timeline. Related to this, highly sophisticated generative virtual influencers of the kind we already see today shall be empowered to stage elaborate chat dialogues with their fans and followers, and so further enhance their commercial appeal. Needless to say, existing concerns about the use of such tools to disrupt, pollute and distort public political discourse online will only grow ever greater. In the very long term, the energy demands of this vast, generative environment will collide head-on with demands for ever more efficient digital infrastructure. This may not only curtail the growth of these operations, but lead to their eventual winding down. Looking over the horizon, physical and public pressures for a world that is responsive at every scale to increasingly extreme climatic and ecological deterioration will ultimately arrest the ability of the digital world to grow unchecked. Cultural trends, perhaps reacting to the intensive, elaborated and highly targeted generative content of previous decades, may well drive a conscious resurrection of simple, static text sites, as enabled through defined chains of renewable energy supply, and so bring about a cooler, quieter and comparatively less exhausting online world one that is in distinct contrast to the ravaging wildfires, collapsing ecologies, novel pandemics and resource-driven conflicts that will rage all around. The furthest future of text may well then mark a return to futures past.